Good morning from Lewiston, Idaho. And I'm out on my morning bike ride and I was riding past this sculpture and I thought, how in the world could I not stop and uh, share it with you? That's, uh, that's Earth Mother there at the head of that sculpture. And it really is spectacular. What, what a sculpture this is. I'm gonna do a, just albeit a short walk and talk and give you a close up of some of the, the details of this just magnificent sculpture. Look at, look at Earth Mother there. You see? Beautiful. Really. And coming out of the palms of her hands into a small fountain. You can see there's water. Oh, that's just gorgeous. And then as I come along the, the side of the sculpture, look at the, look at the collection of various animals and scenery that she has there. I'll try not to go too fast. There you've got a beautiful crane. There's a duck. There's a bear and a porcupine and a beaver. Oh, that's just gorgeous. It really is beautiful. Look at that. There's an elk and a raccoon and an owl. And I don't know what that little guy is. I see a coyote or a, or a wolf. Some birds. Boy, that really is a beautiful sculpture. Probably one of the nicer ones that I've seen. You actually have a little thing here. Now I can't pronounce that word. T-S-C-E-M-I-N-I-C-U-M. -I 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 the Nez Perce Indian word meaning meeting of the waters. Historically the name for this confluence of the Snake and Clearwater Rivers. The sculpture by Nancy Ann Dreher, commissioned by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, interprets Indian mythology with its symbolic Earth Mother at the headwaters of these rivers. Isn't that something? I come over here if I can keep you a good angle without the sun. Look at the the bighorn sheep. Here's your, look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Really beautiful. I can't even imagine how she did this. Look at that. There's a, a mountain lion. Boy, really, really nice. Just gorgeous. Alright folks, have a uh, have a great day.